Hope Farms is uh, located in Sunnyside. Really the goal is to grow as much healthy, affordable, fresh produce as possible directly for the community, and then also offer gardening and cooking classes to empower people with the information, knowledge, and skills on how to not only grow their own food, but also to prepare that fresh produce and really impact how they go through their day around food. So yeah, if anyone else wants to give it a try, this is not a bad spot. What we really want to do is have the students learn how to actually tackle a real world research problem. So coming out here to the farm, getting soil samples, and just trying to figure out what's going on with the soil was really exciting to us. I think we really lucked out in finding, finding a connection with rice. Just through, through happenstance, we were able to start having conversations with some of the professors and invited them out so we could have a conversation. And we, we discovered that we had a lot of common purposes. That, that the professors were looking for opportunities for their students to have real life application of their skills and we're looking to learn a lot about our soil since it is a wild card in a lot of ways. The plot was mainly on old school grounds. Um, the soil differs across the plots. So over there there's raised beds um, filled with compost just because they weren't able to really grow the soil naturally. And over here there's um, unraised beds. In conclusion, the soil is Pretty okay. Um, so mostly we saw that the soil is basic except for plot C where it seemed to be a little bit acidic. This is a completely different ball game. This is even different than I think a lot of the lab courses that freshmen generally take. I think it's mainly the project-based learning that really differentiates it from the traditional lab courses that we have. Actually applying your scientific know-how and laboratory skills to an actual problem. This is why I keep my job is that it's nice, I mean, what a better way to spend my life than spending it with young people who are learning and absorbing information and, you know, I, I am the luckiest person in the world.